Uh, I think the final tax bill uh, will lower the rates uh, across the board. <clears throat> we'll probably have two or three different uh, individual marginal rates. We'll lower the, the corporate rate down from 35 to probably 20. I don't think 15 is reasonable at this point. But I think we need to do that. You're, we're, not, we're not competitive. That's why companies are moving outside the United States. I think we'll have a bill. I think to not do it would be uh, irresponsible. Uh, when you look at the current um, status of where the uh, Affordable Care Act is today, uh, when you have a deductible that's five to ten thousand dollars, and you're paying anywhere from a thousand dollars to three thousand dollars in a premium, you really don't have coverage. As well as you've got United and um, Humana, uh, so many of these uh, anthems, so many of these companies are pulled out of the market. Of course, we have Blue Cross; they threatened to pull out last year. There were 95, 100 count counties. That's all we have. Uh, Seventy percent of um, the country ultimately will only have. Uh, one provider. So this is a real concern. I think immigration reform, uh, what concerns the American people right now is the open border. Uh, they cannot have a thoughtful conversation until we secure the border. There's many ways to secure it. The wall is one way. There's a lot of technology that can be used. Uh, the Big Bend area, the topography there is not such that you can actually put up a wall. But uh, we, we uh, allocated a, a, a billion dollars for border security in our last budget. So that has, we need to secure it to get the states, the bordering states satisfied that we've addressed that problem. And then we can look at um, the reality of what the economic needs. Do we need to raise the bar in terms of how many people can be brought into the country legally? Uh, I think if the economy warrants it, uh, then it's prudent to do that. Russia can play a meaningful role, we believe. Uh, Russia has 20 million Muslims inside the Russia. There are 2 million Russians who went to fight along with ISIS in Syria and Afghanistan. So the president is trying to engage Russia. And uh, I, I commend him for, for the attempt. We don't know whether how successful he will be, but uh, we hope that they will come to reason uh, the challenges in our world are enormous, whether it's North Korea or Syria, Iran, um, all these, uh, of course, ISIS and other terrorist groups, all these require the best of all of us. I commend the president for what he did in going to the Middle East, to our Gulf partners, and 50 of them gathered uh, with him uh, to work together. Uh, we have unprecedented uh, challenges in national security. Some we see and some we don't. North Korea is a, a challenge, but the greatest leverage we have is with China. And we have to look at every, I think, tool possible with trade, uh, sanctions, whatever it takes. This is critical. We're at a, we're at a very critical moment. And um, China, for example, um, Senator Cornyn and I have a bill that will be introduced in the near term. And the bill is to... Uh, Take CFIUS, it's the Committee on Financial uh, Investment in the United States, and en enhance CFIUS, uh, give them more authority and power. But we need to be able to be reviewing investments by outside countries like China to see if uh, what security threats that there might be.